Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. All right, let us uh, begin with Tim McGraw, who performed yesterday, uh, uh, I guess, was it on TV? I guess it was on TV at the National Championship uh, College Football. And uh, Tim McGraw's performance got panned on the internet. Not, really? Yeah, I don't know. He did a he did a duet, something with uh, Shy Carter, and the internet torched it. Uh, oh my he, goodness! Yeah, I know. He also announced uh, his tour for the summer, uh, featuring Midland and uh, Ingrid Andrus. Cadillac Three has added a second leg to their tour. Tour dates will pick up April second in Vegas. Guess where I'll be on April 2nd, Candy? Vegas. Yeah, maybe I'll go check that show out. Wow. Uh, Oscar nominees came out and Joker 11 nominations, Candy. Yeah, I think he's got that role titled up for Best Actor. So last night, I took your advice. I watched the on YouTube the 60 Minutes piece Ah. with Joaquin Phoenix Wasn't and it good? Anderson Cooper. It was great. And what I loved about it was it? I felt relieved and like a sigh of relief and a deep breath that Joaquin Phoenix is like a normal dude, you That's know? That's right. Right. Because um, you never knew about him, you know? No, he's very mysterious. Yeah. And his family had a very, you know, interesting tale to tell. Yeah. But uh, they're all very close still, and it was it was nice to see. Yeah, he does some uh, great roles. Uh, the Irishman, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, all, all had 10 nominations. Uh, and the Oscars will be February 9th, ABC. The royal family met for two and a half hours yesterday. I wonder what they were saying. Queen Elizabeth issued a statement saying she understands Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's desire to step back from the monarchy. And they will split their time between Canada and the UK. All right. And details will be ironed out in the coming days. Well, I would look Mm. at his sweet little face. I wouldn't be able to tell him no either. Yes, of course. LSU beat Clemson pretty handily yesterday, 42 to 25. In the college football championship, LSU was the best team all year, Candy, and had the Heisman Trophy winner, and they also have their quarterbacks going to be the number one pick of the draft. Wow. Uh, So, uh, yeah, they had a great season. They went 15-0, and and a big game from them. Major League Baseball came down on the Astros for that cheating scandal. You know the Yankees are the world champs. (laughs) Because they they, they got cheated out of the World Series that year, (laughs) right? Imagine cheating. Well, this the, is terrible. The manager and the general manager from Houston were fired. Uh, big uh, dollar fine and draft picks taken away. And the next hammer to come down will be the manager of the Red Sox. He will not survive this Alex Cora because Alex Cora was the ringleader as a player on the Astros of the whole cheating scandal. Uh. And then the Astros the next year, no, I'm sorry, the Red Sox, when Alex Cora became the manager the next year, the Red Sox won the World Series and it was the same guy, Alex Cora, who from oh, the cheating scandal. So I see. he's gone. There's no I doubt. Smell a rat. There's no doubt he's going to be gone. Yeah. Uh, ESPN reportedly trying to lure Tony Romo from CBS by offering him somewhere between ten and fourteen million a year. Sounds good to me. Where do I sign? He currently makes four million on CBS. Oh, Amazing. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's one for you. Steve Harvey, because I know you love him. Mm-hmm. He says he's happy for Kelly Clarkson getting a daytime talk show on NBC after he was let go. But he adds, one of my friends said, so, do you watch your show? And he said, I ain't that happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought that was funny. I was surprised they renewed it. What do I know? Yeah, I'm not a... Gee, I love Kelly Clarkson. Me too. I think we love her as a performer. Not a fan of the show. Yeah. Uh, and a couple of uh, tours announced for the 90s kids, Matchbox 20 and the Wallflowers hitting the road this oh, summer. cool. And for the uh, 70s into the 80s kids, Foreigner with Kansas and Europe hitting the road. That's for you, Candy. You'd yes. like that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fourth night of Jeopardy tonight. Be watching that. Eight o'clock, uh, Ken Jennings over James with uh, two to I one. I think Ken Jennings going to win it all. Yep, yeah, probably. Ellen's Game of Games, NBC. Uh, This Is Us is back on NBC. I couldn't be happier. I know. I can't wait. And NCIS tonight. There you have it. You're bald and beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Long Island traffic. You want my conspiracy theory about uh, Jeopardy? I'm not sure I do. No. Mike, I'll tell my conspiracy theory about Jeopardy. Ken Jennings will definitely clinch it and win tonight. And they didn't air it yesterday because they didn't want to go up against 
the national championship game on ESPN. Right. Well, they did that last week, too. It wasn't on Monday. It started on Tuesday. I don't so, know why that happened, either. We'll see. I say Ken Jennings wins it tonight. We'll see how much I know. No, I said Ken Jennings oh. will win it tonight. Oh, okay. Don't try to take Sorry. credit, because I know what's happening. Sorry. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.